Hey 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 hey. Welcome back I just read it friends and fans. Three stories from relationships. The first one involves a boyfriend who texted his girlfriend's nudes to his male friend. The second one involves a woman who is secretly seeing her ex-boyfriend and her new man found out. The third is about a young couple where the lady is trying to force a breakup so she can start seeing another man. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This story is titled, 22 female, my boyfriend, 21 male, lied to me and sent my nudes to his friend, 21 male. For some context, my boyfriend and I are approaching our two-year anniversary, we currently live together while I am finishing up my degree and he's working toward his. Overall the relationship is fine, but recently I had some doubts of infidelity that prompted me to snoop through his phone. His social media and likes were all clear and I was at ease until I discovered something else in his chats with his friend. Scrolling through the pictures they shared in the chat, I come across nude pictures of myself that I had sent to him while we were doing long distance. He had promised me that nobody else was seeing these pictures but him, and I made it clear when I shared these pictures that they are not to be seen by anyone else. He has a good history of being honest with me so I felt I didn't have to worry, until I discovered my nude photos being shared without my consent or knowledge. I felt sick to my stomach, angry, disappointed, numb all at once because I was in disbelief that my own partner would betray my trust like this. I don't know how to approach him about this because I did snoop through his phone without his consent, I don't want to appear a hypocrite and say he violated my trust when I violated his privacy. I have a hard time hiding my emotions so he's been asking me what's wrong all day, and all I want to do is blow up on him but I know a more firm, calm conversation would be more productive. I just don't know how to go about sitting him down and bringing it up. Comment 1. I feel bad that this happened to you. Honestly, I would bring it up anyway. Violating his privacy is less of a concern than what he did. I would never in a million years want anyone else seeing nudes of someone I was in a relationship with. I would never share them if anyone sent them to me. My guess is he's just not that bright. I can't imagine someone being so obtuse not to realize sharing nude photos of his girlfriend would be a huge no-no. Comment 2. What would you have done if you found stuff on him cheating? Since you found something just as hurtful, are you planning on the same result? He violated your trust, and much more, by sharing those pics. He isn't a random hookup, he's your boyfriend of two years. That kind of behavior is like 13-year-old boy behavior. I personally wouldn't be able to trust him again, that'd be grounds for relationship termination especially after you told him to not show anyone else. And in regards to the phone snooping, that's nothing in comparison to what he's done in my opinion. Comment 3. This is a horrific violation of your trust. So, so much worse than you looking at his phone. This man does not respect you at all. I'm so sorry but even if you think you're being a hypocrite for looking through his phone, thank god you found what you did. If I were you, I would just leave without telling him the reason. I wouldn't give him any opportunity to make an excuse. Even if you could forgive him for sending the image, I couldn't, you had that gut feeling that something might be wrong in the first place. Trust that feeling. Comment 4. Sadly, he probably shared it elsewhere like online and probably has them saved somewhere. Don't forgive him. Tell him it's over. He violated your trust and he gave you reason to snoop. He was acting shady with reason. Ask him to delete the pics off his phone and computer. If he doesn't, threaten to tell his mom about his disgusting actions and if she has any sense, she'd for sure nag him about it and embarrass him. Comment 5. This is an instant dump, as soon as you go through his shite again and delete every compromising photo you can find. This is the type of crime that is immediately justified by what you discovered. You do not need to explain yourself or apologize. What he did blows what you did completely out of the water and all that's left for you to do is get the hell out of this relationship as quickly and cleanly as possible. This story is titled, My Girlfriend, 24 female, hid her relationship, friendship with her ex from me, 22 male. Should I end it? So, I've been dating this girl for three and a half months, and at the start, I had seen her hanging out with another guy but didn't think anything of it because we just met. Things seemed great until the start of January, when she came to me saying she wasn't ready to rush into a relationship because she just ended a three-year relationship a few months before we met. I was fine with it, everyone heals at different paces and I really wanted this to go somewhere so I stuck around. Only red flag was her ex was still active on her Facebook, liking and commenting on almost everything. 
Fast forward to two weeks ago, she let it slip that she still talked to the ex of three years, that they're just friends, and I have nothing to worry about. Okay. Whatever, I had no reason to not trust her. We still got along great, hung out, even sexted and sent pics back and forth, but she never wanted to get intimate. Fast forward to this past Monday, I hadn't heard from her all day, and when I got off work I was driving home and saw her driving with her ex in her car. I asked all the questions, how long it's been going on, why she didn't respect me enough to tell me, and if she still wanted him. She said, three years is a long time and we get along great I still wanted to be friends. To which I asked her, if I wouldn't have seen it for myself, would you have told me? And she couldn't give me an answer other than, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure this is the first time either. I've been a nervous wreck ever since, and I don't think I can trust her. What should I do? Comment 1. She's a liar and that's not going to change. It's who she is. She's either cheating on you with him or on him with you. Either way she's shady and doesn't care about anyone but herself. Comment 2. It's concerning that she hasn't been open with you about this, but a lot of people wouldn't have been no need to poke the bear, even though you know eventually it's going to wake up and it won't be happy. It sounds like the friendship with her ex is important to her and no threat to you she was with him for three years. If she wanted more she'd either ask for it or stay away from him so as not to open old wounds. Whether you should end it is up to you. There's obviously a trust issue, but lies of omission are less serious than outright lies. I think you might mention your trust issues with her and go from there. Comment 3. She's his girlfriend. You're a wedge to move him into a firm commitment to her. They're not friends. Don't be a friggin' sap. She's no good. Ditch her and move on. Comment 4. Still being friends and hanging out with an ex is no big deal, but hiding it is a big deal. And her reaction to you bringing it up makes it clear she was hiding it. She should have been open about it. Since she did hide it, it makes it look more suspicious. Comment 5. Friendships are not red flags, hiding things is a huge red flag. If someone is already being dishonest about this only three months in, then I wouldn't want to take the relationship further in your shoes. Doesn't seem like she's over her ex, and she isn't being respectful to you. Update. Thanks to everyone who responded on my last post, I figured I'd post this update. I decided to break it off with her, and what I said was it was never going to be the same due to her being dishonest about her ex. That I can't trust her after that and it's best for everyone if we go our separate ways. She didn't fight it for a second. All I got in response was, I understand and agree. I'm sorry. Here for you if you ever need anything. So obviously she got caught and was taking the easy exit. This has all fricked with my head, but I know I'll be alright and there's more women out there in the world. Just figured I'd post an update. This story is titled, Girlfriend, 19 female, of 3 years is trying to force a breakup because she likes someone else. So, I feel my girlfriend of almost 4 years is trying to force a breakup because of new arguments out of nowhere and a boy I've seen her texting. These arguments are silly and the one we are in now she is not giving up in trying to wind me up and has been like this for a few days. So I feel like she likes someone else because she group facetimes with her friends and there is usually a couple of boys in there one of them she snapchats a lot I've seen. She sometimes hides the messages and also says he's funny to me. Now this guy isn't some ugly dude I would say he's more attractive than me, plus he goes to the gym and is quite big. And this guy is defo not talking to her just to be friends. However, I'm not the type to stop her texting people because of jealousy. As well she has asked me if I like her and I've asked her, and she has said yes, and not like a no or maybe which seems odd if she did like him. Any advice would be great thank you. Comment 1. My friend, you don't say how old you are, but I'm guessing about 19. Being in a committed relationship at 19 is not the best of ideas at that age. This is the only relationship you've had as an adult and you'll never know what you're looking for out of a partner by only dating one person. If she's looking to break up, I say let her. You can suggest it, if she's too afraid. It's not the end of the world, and you'll soon be in other relationships and will finally be able to compare those to your current one. The old sayings, absence makes the heart grow fonder, and, if you love someone, let them go. If they come back they're yours forever, apply here. I guarantee if that relationship is meant to be, you'll eventually be back together. Comment 2. Have a conversation with her about it. 19 is young but 3 years is long for your age group. 
Ask her how she feels about your relationship together, because you sense something is up. Don't yet mention the guy. Don't just ask do you like me, because that's a closed question. Ask an open question, how are you feeling about us right now? Something seems a bit off lately which is why I'm asking. And it may encourage a discussion about both of your needs in the relationship. During that conversation, you then bring up the guy. Comment 3. A lot of people tend to say to end things, but three years is a super long time and if you love her it would be a waste to not just throw the entire relationship away. Personally, a genuine conversation is the best route to go down. Like ask her if there's anything wrong, or if she has anything she'd like to get off of her chest. I personally wouldn't jump right into accusing her of liking him since it could create an argumentative atmosphere. But, definitely express that her talking about this guy and everything is making you feel some kind of way. Being together for three years, you should be able to communicate this maturely and be able to create a comfortable place to express your concerns. Good luck, though. Thank you so very much for listening. Please check out my other videos and like and subscribe.